Hey guys, my name is Anthony and in today's video I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm actually going to be comparing my current lap time now at Bahrain to a lap time that I did way back in the past. This was like eight months ago when I was doing my track guide series. So if you do want to see more videos like this, then make sure to hit the like button and I will do some more videos on different tracks just comparing my lap times now to my lap times towards the beginning of the game and sort of giving my reasons as to why I think that they have improved so drastically. So let's get straight into it. So we're going to be looking at my old track guide lap at Bahrain. So as you can see, braking just as the red and white curb starts down into first gear and then short shifting up to second and then short shifting up to third as well, just to try and minimize as much wheel spin as possible. And then coming up to turn four, want to be in eighth gear, use as much of the track as possible, brake at the 100 meter board down into third gear and then just try and carry as much speed as possible going into the next couple of corners. And for these corners, you just want to try and carry as much speed, try and carry as much momentum as possible and just after the red and white curb starts breaking downhill so it is easy to lock up the car so just be careful with that if you're not using the ABS and then for turns 9 and 10 want to break in a straight line for turn 9 and try and set yourself up to turn 10 take it kind of nicely there obviously there's a lot of time in it due to the fact that it was towards the beginning of the game we were still getting used to everything and then for this turn Breaking eSports line, you know, you want to be as wide as possible. Lando Norris actually did this, I believe, yesterday as well uh, in real life. So, yeah, the eSports line is a thing. <laughs> and then for turn, turn 12, I believe, you want to break just as the orange barrier on the right-hand side disappears off your screen. It is a pretty tricky breaking zone, but if you can get it right, then obviously it means a lot of lap time. And then for the final couple of corners, or really the final corner, break at the 100-meter board down into third gear and just try and hit the apex as best as you can and try to carry as much speed for the exit as you possibly can. So let's compare that lap that I did at the beginning of the game, which is a 25.8, to my current PB at Bahrain in time trial, which is a 24.6. So as you can see, just trying to get the best exit that we possibly can. And the main difference is obviously going to be setups. Setups have improved drastically since the beginning of the game, which allows you to do more things. But obviously my technique has also improved as you're about to see. So for the first corner, we break at roughly the same spot using the same gears really but i actually turned the car a little bit too soon and carry too much speed going into turn one so that's how I, that's why i actually locked up for the quicker lap but we were able to get the car slowed down enough and we managed to carry more speed going through turn one and we were using a lot more of the throttle and the curbs going through turn two which is why we made so much time up in just the first couple of corners because we were able to carry a lot more speed and we used a lot more of the track than we did at the beginning of the game and then turn four is pretty much standard for both laps breaking at the 100 board the only difference really is i was able to carry just that little bit extra speed due to the setup and then for the next couple of corners as you can see we're just using the momentum of the car we actually use higher gears for that one as well and then for this corner we break roughly at the same spot but you can see just how much more track i actually use in the newer lap time than i did in the previous one and that allowed me to open up the corner carry more speed going into the corner and it allowed me to get onto the throttle earlier as well which does make up a lot of time so then coming into turns 9 and 10, pretty standard actually, we, you know, we're actually very similar. I think the main difference there is just the setup allowed us to carry more speed. As I said, the setups have improved a lot since the beginning of the game. And then for turn 11, pretty standard as well, just breaking at the same spots. Uh, we actually used fifth gear instead of fourth gear there, just because we were able to carry much more speed. And then for turns 12, just flat out, and then turns 13, breaking at roughly the same spot but i think that i was able to trail break into the corner a lot better and we didn't take as much curb as well which didn't slow down the car so we were able to carry more speed through the exit as well which is why we made up so much time and then as we come down to the final corner now pretty much standard you know both laps we break at the 100 meter board and then we were, just, we were just able to carry more speed we did actually take a lot more curb in a newer lap which means i feel as if we lost a bit of time there i feel as if we were off maybe half a tenth because we actually took too much curb there so we could have gone even faster but yeah that's pretty much the comparison so what are the main differences how have i actually improved over the past eight months so for me personally i definitely think that the main difference is the way that we set up the car cars with more oversteer to them are definitely going to be quicker if you can control them than cars with more understeer and that's why you're seeing setups slowly get more and more closer to what they would be in time trial simply put if you can control the oversteer then you're generally going to be quicker over a lap and that's what people are starting to do however i definitely think that there are techniques that i've personally improved myself 
that has allowed me to be able to be quicker at the game and those techniques are the way that I get on the throttle on exit the way that I try break into corners and then how much of the track I actually use I'll actually leave a link in the top right hand side of the screen to a video that I did before on how to improve your lap times that basically talks about this the more track that you're able to use on entry then you're able to cut the corner just a little bit more than you would and that allows you to get onto the throttle a lot sooner as well and it will generally save you a lot of time in the example that I did in that video I actually made up over four attempts in a single corner so I'm actually gonna finish the video off here if you did enjoy this video then make sure to hit the like button and if you're new to the channel consider subscribing to it if you want to see more content similar to this and I hope to see you guys soon in my next video